们现在呢，来到了 New Hampshire 的展台。那我旁边这位呢是 Chris， 然后我们让他给我们介绍一下 New Hampshire。Hi Chris. Hi.、Um, what's the most popular in New Hampshire? Well, we there's a lot of things that are popular. We have、um, beautiful lakes. We have a sea coast. We have、um, amazing mountain peaks, like、um, thousands and thousands of feet tall. We have Mount Washington, which is a hugely popular attraction.、Um, you may have heard a week or so ago it had the craziest, coldest weather in the country.、Um, so it has some really cool opportunities for people to go up and experience, you know, beautiful weather and、um, some weather that's not so great. So,、um, uh, when is the best season for、uh, New Hampshire? So probably the most popular season to visit is during the summer when people can be outside. They can again. I just talked about the sea coast. People can be on the sea coast, dipping their toes in the Atlantic Ocean, and a couple hours later they can be on the top of Mount Washington. So you can really experience, you know, two entirely different things、um, in the matter of a few hours. So I would really say probably the summer season. But fall is a beautiful time to visit because we have the foliage and it's absolutely a canopy of color. It's absolutely stunning.、Um, there's a lot to do in the winter because we have skiing and you can go, you know, sleigh riding and skating and、um, dog sledding. So really, there's there's a lot of good times to visit. But I would say probably summer is the most popular. So do you bring some new and something new and、uh, exciting here to the New York Times、uh, travel show this year?、Um, well, we try to just showcase the diversity within our state. We call it diversity within proximity. So again, you can experience so many different things in a very compact state. You know, to get to New York,、um, to get to New Hampshire from New York is only about a four and a half hour drive, and you can be out and you know experiencing amazing nature. And wildlife and wilderness,、um, and to give you perspective, like our state, you can get from the bottom of our state to the top of the state in four hours. The same amount of time it would take you to get from here to there. So, really, it's not that far,、um, and it's some great opportunities for people to experience, you know, charming country inns,、um, beautiful vistas, amazing sunsets. So, so many people said、uh, New Hampshire is for Boston people, and the Vermont is for New York people. Is that true? Uh, we like everybody. <laughs> I would say we we like everybody.、Um, I mean, New Hampshire people are kind of New England fans, but、um, we we accept everybody. <laughs> okay, so I live in New York.、Uh, if I、uh, want to spend two or three days in New Hampshire, what do you recommend? I would recommend that you、um, you come and you probably spend like a night in the Monadnock region, and then you can work your way. So and that's kind of a Courier and Ives feel. So again, it's got like. White steeple churches, you know, picket fences, and then you can work your way up the state. You could spend a night in the lakes region.、Um, lake Winnipesaukee is our biggest lake. It's one of the biggest lakes in New England.、Um, you can actually、um, take go out on the lake on、um, boat cruises, and then you could spend a night in the White Mountains region and see these beautiful vistas I've been talking about. Like the Kankamankas Highway is、um, an amazing scenic byway, and there's beautiful, breathtaking views all along the route. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.